All right, people, we here. Sports Talk with Fred White. If you're new to the channel, please go down and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification next to it and click all. This way here, anytime I put up a video, you will be notified. Hopefully. I can't control YouTube. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the like. Maybe leave a comment. Um, I started this channel about maybe 10 months ago, something like that. And then I took it down. I mean, I didn't take it down. I just stopped doing videos and putting videos up. Uh, when the pandemic hit and the sports had stopped for a while, I had stopped too. I lost interest in it. But um, I'm back and we're here and I'm going to be posting videos on a regular basis on this channel, Sports Talk with Fred White. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Destiny's Child. I meant the Brooklyn Nets. I didn't mean that part. We're going to talk a little bit about the Brooklyn Nets and uh, what they have going on. First of all, I'm a loyal individual. I'm a Detroit Pistons fan, all right? I'm a Miami Dolphin fan. I'm a Duke Blue Devil fan. I am a New York Metropolitans fan. Since I'm little, and I'll always be that way. Even if we're the worst team in the league, you know, every year, it doesn't matter. I'm still who I am. I'm still loyal. So it, 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 it disturbs me when I see people being less than loyal, right? It disturbs me when I see a fucking baby diva like fucking James Harden making 40 fucking million dollars a year crying. I don't want to be here anymore. First of all, you used to try to surround him with a bunch of players, you know. They had a lot of money invested in him so they can't go out and get too many crazy players. But let's get this straight. Houston had Russell Westbrook, Mr. Triple Double every fucking game, right? Did nothing. James Harden also had a top five all-time point guard. All-time. Not just in the league now. Chris Paul will go down as one of the top five point guards ever, ever to play the game. And you did nothing. You, you couldn't, you know. You couldn't get over that hump, right? Because you know Steph Curry. Right? You understand? I get it. You know Steph Curry. Now, and then he's going right now. He's, I want to go to New I want to go to Brooklyn. I, I can't wait to see how that shit works. I really can't wait. Let me tell you first a little history. So, I don't hate on the Nets. As I said, I'm a Piston fan. I really don't care. My brother is a Brooklyn Net fan. Absolute prime. Die hard net fan, so I argue with him and I go back and forth. Because I already said beforehand that Kyrie, Beyonce, is never, ever gonna be able to work with KD Kelly. Never gonna it's not gonna not gonna be able to happen. You know, and now they got Michelle on there too. No, it it, it doesn't work like that. You can only have one diva in a group, right? Ask Beyonce. Ask Diana Ross. Right. And all three of them have one thing in common. As Ralph Tresvant. Speaking of Ralph Tresman. All three of those guys are the most sensitive fucking people in the NBA. Most sensitive. And they're in the biggest media market in the world. It's never going to work. Another reason it's never going to work. Who's going to shoot the last shot? Right? And the first time that person misses that shot, the other two are going to be pissed. I should have shot that shot. Right? Right? Who's going to take, you know, who's going to be in crunch time? Who's going to be the man? Who's going to have the ball in their hands? Because Kyrie likes to play with it. You know, he thinks he's in the rucker all the time. Now, now let's get this wrong. As far as watching, I love Kyrie. Love to watch Kyrie play basketball. Kyrie is like one of the most entertaining basketball players ever. Like he's, when he plays, because he's always hurt. So is KD. It, it, this, it's just never going to work. This is really like a soap opera in waiting. And I'm predicting now, and this is no disrespect to Brooklyn fans or whatever, I don't really care. It will never, ever work. First of all, they don't, none of them play defense, right? The whole team. You just lost your best all-around player. The best all-around player on the Nets was Karis LeVert. That's a fact. He was the best all-around. You need those glue guys. If you play teams, you don't even play team sports then you don't really understand what I'm saying. It's probably best you're not even here on this channel. Nah, I'm just kidding. I want you guys to see how 
But you need those glue guys. You need those people who are going to jump. That's what made teams like the Bulls, right? Those big bull teams. Everyone know what Mike was going to do. Scotty was the all-around guy. And then you had guys like Dennis Rodman, right? Same thing when he was on the Pistons. He knew his role. My role is to get rebounds and give it to Mike, right? And on the Pistons, it was, let me get the rebound and give it to Zeke. Knew his role. You got to know your roles. Everyone has to have a role in a team in order for it to win. That's how it goes. From six men to whoever. You have a purpose. It's a, it's, it's a purpose for the team. It's not just, you know, you guys run up and down the court and shoot a thousand threes. That's not, that's not, that's never going to work in this league. And I'm predicting it now, people. I am predicting the downfall of New Edition now. Trust me when I tell you. New Edition, that's my favorite group ever, too. What I'm just saying is that, you know. Ralph wanted to go do him. This one wanted to go do him. Bobby wanted, everyone wanted, right? You can't have too many superstars. Everyone thinks they're the star. It works for a little while. And then things get haywire. Then things get crazy. But I'm telling you right now, I'm so fucking tired of these divas getting what they want, doing what they want. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't care if you pay me $40 million. Don't fuck up. Type of dudes that used to, I'm not playing. I'm taking my ball home. Nice to not let them type of dude. You need to take a shit home. Fuck out of here. Like, I just don't like those kind of guys. Like, when remember when Steve Francis did it back in the days? He got drafted to, like, Vancouver and was like, I'm not going there. Forced to trade and uh, I just, I don't like that type shit. You know, you've lived your whole life to, to be in the league and now you're picking and choosing and now you're a fucking diva. And plus, James Harden's mad out of shape. I just can't wait to see the shots, who's going to get shots. I mean, I feel bad for guys like Joe Harris. You know, the TLC guy, you know, you know all the rest of those kids because they, they're, they're never going to shoot the ball. They're never even going to see it. You might as well just put them three on the court and just everyone else just, you know, it just, you're never going to see the ball. And it's sad. And the Nets gave up like so fucking much. Not only just Karras. Karras, again, Karras was their best all around player. That's a fact. Steals, rebounds, assists, points. I'm talking about all around. Karras did everything. Karras never complained. Karras played hard every game. They're going to miss Karras, trust me. And then they traded their whole future. They traded every, all their picks, everything for this fat fuck. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I guess you could say I'm wishing on their downfall because I just, I just, not, not, you know, for my brother's sake, you know, love my brother. I wish, you know, I, I, I don't, you know what I mean? I hope they, but I just, I just don't fucking like that shit. I hate those kind of guys and I'm tired of it. Let me know what you guys think about those kind of divas. Let me know what you guys feel about this move and do you think that this put the Brooklyn Nets over the top? Because I don't. I still don't think that they're even the best team in the East. They have, on paper, on paper it seems good. But, you know, people, everyone's sleeping on the Miami Heat again, I see. Them boys play hard, all of them. Jimmy Butler got them boys playing all hard. All of them play hard. All of them dive in the stands. All of them, you know, you understand there's a difference. You know what I mean? That's that lunch, lunch pail mentality, going to work, grinding. You know what I mean? Not pretty fancy shoes, three. Fucking James Harden, fucking smack that guy. But anyway, I'm predicting it now. If they get out the East, I'm saying they won't. They're not going to beat, like, Miami or... I mean, I think they could beat Milwaukee. Milwaukee's overrated. Uh, I think... I think they... Philadelphia... You know, could have a little shot. It could be, you know, the East could be. But they definitely, they're definitely not beating them boys out in L.A. They're definitely not beating them. That's a fact. They're definitely not beating the Lakers. You know, because that's all that this is about. They're trying to put a team together to beat them black and gold kids. And if they stay healthy, no one's going to beat them anyway. And it's just going to be a waste of fucking Brooklyn, Brooklyn's uh, money. That's all it's going to be. So anyway, let me know how you guys feel about this situation. Let me know how you guys feel about James Harden. Let me know how you guys feel about the Brooklyn Nets. 
and give me some predictions. I want some predictions. I want them in the comments because I don't want you coming back eight months later talking about, see, I remember I told you. I want it in the comments section. I'm saying it right now. They won't beat the Lakers if they come out of the East. If they come out of the East, if they can beat Miami and Philadelphia, Milwaukee, I'm, again, I'm not too high on those guys. If they can beat them, they definitely ain't beating the Lakers. There, I said it. Appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to be putting up videos, you know, maybe daily on this one. I appreciate everybody. Maybe share my video. Let people know I got this new channel. And, you know, and if you're in the sports, this is the place. If you're in the UFC, this is the place. We're going to be talking Conor McGregor, Justin Poirier is coming up. We got uh, Max Holloway and uh, Calvin Cater this week. We got a bunch of things, you know, UFC related. But the, the wild card games, the NFL games. We're going to be talking about all that. So I'm going to be posting videos regularly on here. So be aware. And again, hit the subscribe, the bell, and the all. And you will know when I do it. Love you guys. I appreciate everybody. And on that note, Sports Talk with Fred White is back. Join me. Salute.